leopards have become a terrifying obsession for herbivores in the savannah. So have you ever witnessed a leopard stalking an impala? If not, please watch this video in its entirety. Leopards attack impala, drinking water by the river. It is very unlikely that any prey can escape death as results of the leopard's hunt. Based on ambush hunting and camouflage, leopards do not need to spend too much energy to successfully hunt prey. In particular, the leopard's favorite prey is the impala, a gentle and nutritious animal. Today, like every other day, the leopard started hunting and it seemed to have smelt the prey on the other side of the river. With a nimble and agile body, the predator jumps high to the other side in search of prey. Meanwhile, the impalas are engrossed in drinking water, unaware of the notorious predator lurking nearby. Where do you see the shape of the leopard? It was hiding where its prey would not expect it and was watching the weakest impala, which can be an old or injured prey, or it can be a young prey, because these are the first targets of all predators. After determining the prey that needs to be defeated, the leopard bursts out of hiding at the right time to attack. With a speed of up to 80 kilometers an hour, it quickly rushes out to perform a spectacular life and death chase. In just a few short minutes, the predator quickly brought down an ill-fated impala. Because it could not run away fast enough, it had to accept the fate of becoming the leopard's prey. It can be said that the impala is the most delicious and easy prey for predators. Therefore, they always encounter unexpected dangers, especially from leopards. Predators always ambush swarms of impalas unexpectedly and quickly. Even when rushing down from the tree, they can defeat their prey with ease. Even if they hide in the dry grass, with the naked eye, it is difficult to find out where the leopard is going to conduct its ambush. Even the most alert of animals, the impala, struggles to detect a predator right next to it. The camouflage of leopards is just too good. When launching the attack, the leopard rushes out like an arrow and seizes the right moment to take down its prey. By now, the impalas wanted to run, but it was too late and the weakest in the herd had become a nutritious meal for the predator. What makes leopards such a fearsome predator? Please see information about the species. An adult and strong leopard can run at more than 80 kilometers an hour and jump three meters high. Together with a vision of about 200 degrees, it is easy for them to estimate the distance to their prey. Therefore, leopards have the highest success rate of hunting in the big cat family. In fact, it is very difficult for any prey to escape death from the leopard's hunt. Many times the prey has had to accept a bad outcome when confronting this predator. The impala is such an example. They are considered sensitive and extremely alert, 
but these attributes are not enough to save their lives when they are preyed upon. For survival, leopards also often steal prey from other hunters. This impala had just escaped the attack of the crocodile and thought it would escape, but the leopard, which had been waiting in the grass for a long time, rushed up and grabbed its prey. It's cruel, isn't it? But this is the way of the wild natural world. The line between life and death is very thin. Just a little lack of vigilance and the prey can fall. Craving for fresh meat is an instinct of every predator and leopards are no exception. They often carry their prey up the tree to enjoy it heartily. Leopards carry their prey up the tree to avoid other predators stealing it because leopard prey is often taken by hyenas and lions. This has formed the leopard's instinct to protect its prey. Leopards take every opportunity to hunt and will not be denied. For them, the most important thing is food and to get that food, leopards will attack and kill their prey as quickly as possible. Have you thought about how the impala prey might feel? Surely there would be despair that no one could understand, along with the pain of being torn apart by the leopard. The fierce wild nature world seems to have no place for the weak to survive because they will face countless dangers from nature or predators. The baby deer are one of them. If they want to survive, they will have the protection of the mother deer. So once the mother deer is killed, what will be the fate of the young? Let's find out together today. Cheetah attacks the mother deer and what will be the fate of the baby deer? Here the line between life and death has never been so thin. Just let your guard down a little and the predators will rush out to kill their prey. The fate of the deer is the prey. It will become food for carnivores when attacked. Cheetah is hunting, its target is the deer feeding in front of it. With his superior speed, the predator does not take too long to attack the prey. It unleashes deadly blows that kill its prey quickly. The mother deer tried to protest, but failed. It eventually became food for cheetahs. and his young was caught by a leopard that came later, but he did not eat the young immediately, but brought it back to his territory. It seems that the leopard is full, so he does not want to eat the little deer, but treats it as a toy. In fact, no matter how powerful a predator, the leopard still carries the instincts of cats. In other words, they are big cats that hunt.
So they often have a hobby of playing with their prey and treat it as a toy. After playing board, the leopard kills and eats it. The poor little animal should be living and being cared for and protected by its mother animal. But the cruel nature has made the cubs face danger and this leopard will end its life. However, before doing so, the leopard treats as if a toy to play with. Other leopards want to eat it, in the small animal that has been attacked by its own kind. It does not allow any predator to kill its toy. Watching this moment, we must have thought of a rare image of nature when the leopard and its prey play very affectionately, but reality is much more cruel. The ruthless predator took the young animal right in front of its mother's eyes, even using its bait to lure the mother close. The mother animal can only helplessly watch the young animal being played by the leopard. Because it knows that, if it comes close to rescue its children, it will surely become prey. Running away from it still have a chance to maintain the breed. That is the fierceness of nature that any animal has to endure. Predators also want to survive, so they have to hunt and fight bloody battles to survive. Laws that humans cannot interfere with. And in that difficult place, young animals always seem to be the ones that suffer the most. Not only are they more likely to be noticed by predators, they also don't have the strength to fight or run away. And they are also easily left behind when unexpected emergency occurs. The leopard attacked and ate the mother kudu. After it took the young and played with it, it's a pity that the young kudu didn't know that this terrible enemy. Leopards also let their prey play innocently because it because they cannot escape its claws. Finally, the predator's instincts urge him to kill the young animal so that it can fill its stomach. When young animals are, for some reason, separated from their mothers or loved ones, they can no longer be protected. And these animals are still too young to be able to feed themselves. Let alone more dangerous things like observing carnivores, it is difficult for them to live with such a situation. Natural life will never be as beautiful as in the Disney movies where the animals live peacefully together. Reality is much harsher than it has there has never been any fairy tales. Predators killing and eating young herbivores were normal in that fierce world. It is impossible to balance both. The life of the carnivore and the life of the herbivore. It's the unbreakable circle of nature. So everything goes on it. We also cannot interfere, and so the new day still comes in the natural land with brutal hunting.
The vast savanna spawns countless excellent predators. With incredible speed, the cheetah is favoured with the title of the most fearsome king of the predators on the face of the earth. The long strides that breaking through this wild land have scared countless animals here and are always in the state of readiness to flee. Let's explore the power and agility of this African savannah's fastest predator through the topi antelope attacks. Cheetah hunts Topai with incredible speed. Cheetah's menu is quite extensive. They often hunt small and medium-sized prey. However, this time the giant Topai antelope are the choice of the predator. Confronted with a fearsome predator, will the Topai antelope escape? Most prey with targeted by cheetah often have no concept of escape because of the speed is comparable to sport cars and can accelerate from 0 to 72 km per hour in just 2.5 seconds. Whenever this predator appears, the animals here always have to be mentally prepared to run because they know that if they don't run away quickly, they will be like an this topi. You see, it doesn't take too long for the hunt. The gazelle topi had no chance of escaping, despite trying to resist, strongly to hope for a chance to live the cheetah's attacks. This unfortunate Topai could not escape death. This is the channel manager. This is the video editor and this is the content creator.